Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, hey boo, my name is Makai Michelle. Today I'm doing a full glam makeup. I'm super duper excited. We're going to get into some eyeshadow with super cute nude lip. Like, it's going to be dumb pretty. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below, tell me how much you enjoyed. As well, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you're notified every time I post new content. You cannot forget to follow me on all my social media. They're always listed down below. That will give you the behind the scenes of every single video. It'll give you some updates, and you'll see bomb pictures of me. If you spam me on Instagram, I will spam you back, so go ahead and show love over there if you want me to know that you came from this video specifically go ahead and comment a black heart and a red heart eye emoji and i'll show you my love but that being said let's get straight into this video as you can see i've already started off by doing my brows let me just go ahead and prime my lids Okay guys, so now that I've primed my lids, I'm just going to get straight into the eyeshadow. Today I'm using my Jackie Ina palette, her collab with ABH. I'm going to start off with this shade right here, Ginger. I think I might only use these browns in here. I'm not using too many. I think I'm going to stick to this palette. This palette seems like a good color scheme. For my crease, I'm going to start off with this shade right here, Ginger. And I'm going to go ahead and dust this all throughout my lid. Now I'm just going to go in with this shade right here, Edges, and I'm going to go ahead and continue building this in my crease. Now I'm going to start to focus this shadow a little bit more in my outer corner, but you know we're still going to brush that forwards. And I'm going to go ahead and dip into the shade Credit, again focusing this in my outer corner. As you can see, we're starting to deepen it. With Glam Looks, I find that I love really um, smoky, sultry makeup. So I'm focusing those darker shades, getting our little smoky eye on. Now, y'all, for my lid area, I'm taking her shade right here, Soleil. Right here, I'm going to go ahead and pack this on my lid. Now, I'm going over that with the shadow right here, Zam. And zam. I'm gonna go over and pack it on top. Bring this as far up as I want it to be. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna go in with some wing liner. Whew, I actually did that wing so fast. <laughs> it actually came out back. I did that wing so fast, y'all. Okay guys, so this is the wing that we have now. I'm pretty content with it. It didn't take me too long. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put some lashes on. Today I'm using these lashes from Star Studios in the Style Dior. Super, super cute and I'm excited to wear these. I feel like these lashes will do a good job at showing the look off while adding some oomph. You know what I mean? So where are my tweezers at? I'm just glad we got through the eyes alive, child. Okay y'all, so now this is it for the eyes for now. Later on, we'll smoke out the under eye. I'm super excited for that because I'm, I'm just excited, okay? I'm excited. We're not even going to get into that. Just tune in, all right? Tap in. Now it's time to get into our face makeup. Today, I'm going to be using my Matte and Poreless Foundation from Maybelline. This is the Fit Me one. This is in the shade 340. I'm going to go ahead and just buff this into my skin. I have not used this foundation in a long time. But I'm very excited to get back into it. I think I didn't use it because it was a little bit too dark for me. And I hadn't been in the sun at all because of quarantine. So, um, it was way too dark. But it's looking like a little bit of a better match now. Of course, when I highlight and contour, um, it'll fit me a little bit more. But I can work with this shade. I really love this foundation. It's actually my favorite. Now I'm going to go ahead and highlight with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation Stick. Or should I use my Fenty Concealer? My last video I used, I don't know, I'll use this, I'll use this, okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and highlight with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation Stick in the shade Caramel. Um, the super full coverage because it's a foundation, which is why I like to use it when I'm going super duper glam. Go ahead and blend that out. This is just a concealer brush that I'd be using. I'm gonna blend this out. I'm gonna bring it up to the higher points of my face so we get that super snatched effect. And drag it down because I like to be really, really highlighted. Now 
do you see how great this blended out like I'm in shock I really am I'm going over my beauty blender it's a little bit on the dry side I'm not even gonna cap I wet it but it dried up a little bit but that's actually I have no problem with that because it's keeping the coverage on my skin which is what I want my lips look extra big today for some reason that's weird okay I feel like I look like I have a filter on. Honey, get into it. All right, let's set our face. So today to set my face, I'm using my Ben Nye Luxury Banana Powder. Um, I love the undertone of this. It's going to keep the brightness while adding that yellow tone to my skin, which is literally the color of my under eye. So that's great. Let me go ahead and set, babe. I'm using a little bit more powder than I use for my under eye. I'm just gonna go down the bridge of my nose. I'm not even gonna go super in detail because this is not a highlighting and contouring video, but if you want that, I can make one. Now, I was gonna cream and contour. What? Now, I was gonna cream contour, but I don't really feel like doing all that. I'm not even gonna cap. So instead, I'm just gonna go ahead and contour with powder. To do that, I'm taking my True Complexion Contour Palette from Black Radiance, and I'm taking this shade right here, the contour shade. I'm gonna use that to create some shadows in my cheeks and my nose okay now I'm going in with my 3d highlighting palette from Huda Beauty I've really been loving this palette lately I'm seeing this shade right here Aruba and I'm just gonna use this as a topper for my contour um, but before I do that actually let me go ahead and um, put some powder down so that I don't get too out of control with my contour. Okay, now we can go in with Aruba right here on top. Just the topper, lightly using that. So for blush, I want something on the orangey side. Orangey side. So I'm going ahead with some eyeshadow for this, y'all. And just... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Too bad. Too red. Oh no, honey. This is orange, babe. What's going on? Now it's time to get into our under eye that I'm super excited for. So I'm going to go ahead and take some black liner and just line my waterline first. Now I'm going to go in with some black shadow and kind of deepen that a little bit. Especially out in the outer corner. I feel like Cleopatra. Now I'm going to go in with the same dark brown that I used on my lid. And I'm going to go ahead and smudge this all across my waterline. Now I'm going to go ahead and set my makeup with my Morphe setting spray. To highlight, I'm using my Gerard Cosmetics highlighter that's broken. This is in the shade Lucy. This used to be my favorite highlighter ever. But, um, I'm just gonna apply some to my cheeks, but this is not my only highlighter. That I'm using because you see how it's like rosy gold. Yeah, I want something a little bit brighter, but this is just her at first. Now I'm going in with my Wet and Wild highlighter in the shade Golden Flower Crown on top. Now this is not something that I usually do, but because we're going glam, I am going to go ahead and put a dot with eyeliner right over where my natural mole is, honey. Where is she at though? She's like right here. Because best believe she's there, boo. She's just a little bit hard to see at this moment, but we're going to change that right now. So let me go ahead and take some. Period. Okay, and I also have one on my chin, so I'm going to put a dot on that. You see how that added to the look? Very much so. Okay. I should really make this pimple right here a moan, but we're not even going to do all that. So I'm just going to tell you guys all the products I'm using for lips because I'm mixing a few. This right here is my Fancy Beauty Gloss Balm, the universal one. This is my lip liner by MAC in the shade Cork. Right here is my e.l.f. lip lacquer in the shade Natural. And right here is my Clinique lipstick in the shade Matte Suede. So I'm going to go ahead and do what it do with those.
Okay y'all, so now that that's done, it's time to get into my hair. So let me plug in my straightener. Um, girl, get off. All right y'all, so while I'm waiting for my straightener to heat up, I'm just gonna go ahead and clear up my area because I cannot work like this. Okay guys, so for today's hair, I'm just going ahead and doing curls. I'm like, I'm doing, I, don't, I don't shave, I don't know, shave my armpits y'all, so I'm trying not to get them in the frame. I think I finally got it together. Let's do a little cute comb through. I think actually some more hair can be on the opposite side, but period. I finally got my hair how I wanted. It took me a minute, but I think I figured out how to straighten with a curl or how to curl with a flat iron. I knew how to do it, but um I just couldn't do it. Okay, I don't know how to explain it, but I know how to do it. I just ooh, I got glitter on my cheek. I just couldn't do it. So I did go ahead and change my top to this black one because black is always super cute for glam looks. And I think I'm about done with my glam, y'all. It literally took me how long? It's 5.34 right now and I started at 3.24. Ah, a little cute two hours and 10 minutes. That's not bad at all. We live for that. Yeah, look how cute. It's giving a real glam, super glam vibes, okay? Okay guys, so this is our final look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below, tell me how much you enjoyed as well. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you're notified every time I post new content. You cannot forget to follow me on all my social media. They're always listed down below. Like I said earlier in this video, if you go ahead and comment a black heart and a heart eye emoji underneath my most recent post, I will go ahead and spam you and show you my love. The love you show me is always the love I want to show back. So if you go ahead and spam me on Instagram, I will spam you, okay? A real spam too. Comments, likes, all that. With all that being said, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah.